In the previous video, I've shown you this concept called compounding interest, what we call the holy grail of investing. How just by investing a little bit of money and generating good return and having the patience to wait for some years, you can turn that investment into a great amount. So right now that you know this compounding interest can help you to reach your goal and it's just a matter of time, how do we go about getting those returns, those percentage to help you, to bring you from where you are now to where you want to be? So that's what we will be talking about in this video. In this video, I'll be revealing to you this core belief concept that has helped me to generate good return with relatively low risk. So what is this core belief all about? Before I tell you this, let's look at some of the results that my clients get as a result of applying this core belief in their investment. Well, have a look at this screenshot. This is a capture of the conversation that I was having with one of my students and she told me that she has sold one of her shares away called AHGP. This is a public listed company in the United States specializing in coal mining. And I asked her, did she make money? She said, yes, she made about 2,400 ringgit, which is 50% return. Now, it's very important for you to see the 50% return instead of the number of just 2,400 because that depends on your capital. If you have a bigger capital, if you invest more, if you have 100,000, a 50% return will be 50,000. So it really depends on your capital and she's a young adult. So uh, naturally the capital will be smaller. And this is another screenshot of the profit that one of my students made. And if you can look at here, it's about 44%. And in fact, it's a very quick return in this Iskandar waterfront city, which uh, in the shooting of this video very recently, it went up a lot. And this is a five digit profit. And if you have a look at this screenshot, one of my students, in fact, is a doctor, uh, said he has bought Inari at 332 and after share split and exact crash, he has made more than 17% back in terms of profit. And I have no idea how much he invested. Probably he, if he invested a lot, because since he's a doctor, he probably made five figure as well. And another student made 440 ringgit, okay, from the sale of his home rich stock and he got a special dividend from Signature Burhat and earned about 1,040 ringgit. And this is a university student, that's why he doesn't have too much capital. And if you look at this, okay, uh, this is another student of mine which just graduated. He said he does his homework and uh, he made more than 15% gain in less than two weeks from buying a stock called Magnetech. So you can see all these examples of profits uh, mostly, they like to talk in terms of percentage because that's how I teach them. We talk in terms of percentage because investing is a percentage game. And let's look at this again. So this is another doctor. Uh, one of my coach, we actually have people regularly um, asking our graduates, those that attended our program, how they are doing. So this is Viming is one of our coach. So here he's, Viming is asking him, hey, how are you doing? And this doctor replied, hey, he made more than 10% back. And this is another screenshot of the profit that my student made. Notice these are in um, US dollars, but of course this student is quite experienced. Um, I cannot say 100% of the thing that he knows is being taught by me because I think he's quite experienced before he come to my course. So even experienced people do come to my course and this profits close to five digit profit if you convert back to Ringgit Malaysia, it could be close to six digit, okay? and. Another student, he's from uh, Utah, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he said, okay, he has sold his Prolexus stock and made 10% within two months. So these are examples of the profit that my clients make. And one more screenshot of the profit is this. One of my students bought a stock that I actually recorded the whole case study, my analysis on it almost a year ago. And he watched the analysis and he bought the stock. He took action, okay? At that time, when I was talking about the share, it was trading at a very low price. And if you have bought it at the current moment, you, had a, you would have made more than 80% profit within a year. So even I myself, I'm surprised. So I actually sold this stock earlier to buy another share, but I kept a few and just to prove that I'm correct. But one of my students didn't sell at all and he has made more than 41% profit since he entered and since he bought in the month prior to that. So 41% within a month. And that's why I said, wow, it's so good. And he said, it's thanks to us for doing all this review and everything. So 
the concept that I'm about to teach you is responsible for all these results and that's why I want you to pay full attention to it. Those are impressive results, isn't it? Especially when it comes from people who are new to investing. So, how do we go about doing this? What is this whole core belief about? So let me bring your attention to this chart. If you look at this chart, this place is what we call, this is what we call a price chart. This is the price and this is the time. Now, if you look at any investment, if you look at any investment, a business or farm, any asset, there are two types of asset. I don't want to go into too detail about that because uh, that is a discussion for another day, but there are two types of asset. There are productive and non-productive asset. Productive assets are assets that produce things and produce anything. For example, a house, it produces rent for you, cash flow, okay? Businesses, it produces profit, cash flow, okay? Farm, it produces milk or etc. and you can sell it for cash flow. Productive assets give you cash flow. Non-productive asset doesn't give you any cash flow. For example, gold, a non-productive asset. Antique pen, uh, painting are not productive asset. These assets do not produce anything. So we are talking about productive asset. Now, as long as you are buying a productive asset and you keep producing stuff, wouldn't the value increase over time because it keeps producing stuff? Yes or no? Of course, yes. So this red color line is the value, okay? So if let's say you are buying a business, okay? This will be the value. In the stock market, stocks are piece a part ownership in the business. So that's why this is the value line. The value of a good stock should increase over time. Of course, there are good stock and bad stock and I'm going to teach you how to look at it in the next video. But right now, just let me demonstrate this concept called core belief. But do you notice if you have paid any attention to the stock market, stock market price doesn't move like this, isn't it? Stock market is very erratic, it's very volatile. So it's probably like this. So if you look at this, stock market works in cycle. Just like any market, all markets work in cycle. You have the oil market, it works in cycle. Property market, there are cycles. In the investing world, cycles are very important. So every cycle, they are the peak and the trough, okay? And if you look at this, you will say, hey ming -tick. okay, what does it mean? What this means is this, during this period, when the price is higher than the value, what does it mean? It means that the stock is overvalued. That means if you buy now, you are paying more than what you get. The price that you are paying to get the asset is higher than the value that you are getting. Do you want to be involved in this kind of deal? You want to pay for something that is worth less than what you are paying? Yes or no? Of course, no. So these are the times that we avoid investing in. And this time, when the price is lower than value, what is it called? It's called undervalue. And why, when we give you this opportunity, okay, to buy something that is worth more by paying less, does it make sense as an investment, yes or no? Of course, yes. And this is, whole, this is the whole core belief is about this. To pay lesser than the value that you are getting, okay? That means price is what you pay to get the asset, the stock, the investment, and the value is what you're getting. And this core belief is to only invest when it makes sense in terms of value. And that's the whole concept of this core belief. Very simple, isn't it? But then you'll be asking, hey ming -tick, if the stock is worth less than the current price, why would people buy? And then you'll be asking, hey ming -tick, if the stock is worth more than what it is currently selling at, why would people sell to me, right? This makes sense. But you have to notice this. Not everybody knows this core belief thing. Let me ask you, have you ever been taught in school on how to invest? Have you ever, have anyone ever talked to you about investment in terms of value and price? No. Out there, it's all speculative. It's all based on news. It's all based on this stock is trending higher. It seems like it's going to go higher. Let us buy and chase together. That's why nobody in the share market, very few people actually care about this red color line. 
Most people look at this black color line and then project a graph and they say buy here, buy there, which for some people, that's a strategy and it's okay. But as a value investor, as those people that get the results that you see just now, this is the strategy that we are using. This is the core belief that we are using. So you'll be asking, hey, Ming Tech, why would people pay more than what it is worth? So the answer to this is, they do not care what it is worth. They buy it because they hope that somebody will buy it at a higher price from them. And hope is not a good strategy to invest. And this is the time where they buy based on greed. They see the price going up every day. They don't want to miss out on the action and they buy so that they chase it. And that's why it push it higher. And when bad news come out, everybody rush and panic and sell like there's no tomorrow. And this is when they are most fearful. Now, the secret to investing is this, this whole core belief. When others are greedy, you'll be fearful. When others are greedy, you don't buy, you'll be fearful. And when others are fearful, you'll be greedy. You buy as much as you can because these are the best time to buy. If you buy here, you can sell to those greedy fella here. And after you sell to this greedy fella here, you can buy again when they go fearful again and so on and so forth. And that's how you make a lot of money in the share market in a way that makes common sense to you. So now you'll be asking, hey Ming Tech, how do we go about knowing what is value? Because I know this concept sounds good and simple and everything, but it is not very tangible. How do I figure out what is the actual value of a stock? Of course, this is just an overview, the very simple thing, just to get you to understand this thing that we have to buy at a cheaper price than what is the value, to get more for every dollar you invest. The actual value calculation and estimation and this and that is much more in detail and there are many aspects to look at. But that's exactly what I'll be covering with you in the next video. So let's recap what we have learned so far. Number one, we've learned that in order to get rich through investing, it's not an overnight thing, okay? It takes years and you have to have patience, but it is achievable. Even if you're an employee, it's achievable. It's a slow and steady way, but you pick up after a few years, all right? Second thing, in order to get those return, the easiest and the most common sense way that you can use is using this core belief to buy when others are fearful and to sell when others are greedy. And always look at investment opportunity in terms of price and value, okay? So now that you've understand these two main concepts, Let's go into the gritty detail, okay? How do we go about estimating the value? Because once you know the value, buying or selling is easy. This is when you want to sell, this is when you want to buy. Isn't it very clear now? So, I hope to see you in the next video where I'll detail those things up and I hope you learn a lot in this video. See you again.